Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today on What's Up on the Ridge, we've got baby rabbits. The kits are growing so fast, we're gonna see how they're all doing, we're gonna feed some bees, and we're gonna show you what else we've been up to on the ridge. Let's do this. It's been about 10 days since we've had our kits, or since uh, Ginger and Elsa had their kits, I should say. Oh, and they got their eyes open, guys. Look at that. They've got their eyes open. There's the one broken. And all the cute little white ones. We'll get, oh, look at this, so cute. We'll get them out and take a closer look at them in the sun. But Ginger, you're doing good job, girl, feeding your babies. Let's go check Elsa's babies, okay? <laughs> Elsa, you doing good? There's old Elsa. And look at her babies. Oh my goodness. Look at the babies. We'll get them out too. I think some of them, <gasps> we're gonna have to see. I see some cuteness. Now let's check old buddy Gray here. Hey Gray, man, you did a good job with your babies. You know that, you sure did. I'm so proud of you. Oh, yes, you did a good job. You did a good job. We're going to get your babies out and take a look at them in the sun and see how pretty they are. Is that okay? All right, let's do it. We got Ginger's eight babies out here. We're going to pull out and look at each one of them. We can see one's almost a spitting in image of Ginger right there. That's the only broken one we've got, at least uh, I've seen from her litter, her kindling. So let's pull them out one by one and see what they look like. Let's start getting them out. We got one little cute white one with the pink ears. You're so cute. You're so cute. We got that one right there. Oh, the big fat one. Look at this guy. Hard to tell the colors of their eyes, but look at the pink ears. So cute, so cute. Another pretty white one. Got big old long ears on that one. Wow. You guys trying to come over and visit me? Hmm? Big old fat belly on this one. Here we go, that's four. And we got five, five white ones, solid white. Six, here we go, six. Look at you, look at that little nose. Oh, six, seven, seven, another pretty white one. And then last but not least, the broken one. Looks just like Ginger. Look at the markings, look at the ears. So cute, dark eyes, definitely dark eyes. Look at there. You're so cute. Let's get you down. Get you in a big old pile. And let's see. Look at you guys. You just gonna sit there and sleep, huh? You just gonna sit there and sleep in a big pile of rabbit cuteness? That is a pile of rabbit cuteness, guys. That's all that is. A big pile of rabbit cuteness. Oh my God. That is so cute. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. You gonna walk to me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I see one trying to walk away. You got your eyes open, got your ears. So cute. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Look at you. Oh my gosh, guys, have you ever seen anything so cute? I just sway, 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 sway. Going back to your brothers and sisters. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see this one right here. You all waking up? Here we are. Hee <laughs> hee. Where are you running? <laughs> Say, go get me. Go get me. 
All right, let's go get Elsa's babies and see what they look like. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope mm. Now let's take a look at Elsa's six now this one right here check this out guys i really think this one has a gray nose it is hard to tell but i think that one's got a gray nose kind of like gray does his ears look a little bit gray they're not they're not as white as some of the other ones i'm thinking some of these are going to look just like gray oh yeah look at this one look at this one guys that one has a gray nose <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that one's got a gray nose. Can't really tell about the ears. We'll see as they get a little older, too. Uh, her kits are awful big. Elsa's kits are fat. She's feeding them like crazy. And all, all six, remember she had eight, and um, one did, or two didn't make it, but I swear some of these noses look gray. We will check in a second, but they are so cute. Oh my goodness, those faces. So cute. All right, let's get them on the ground, let them relax, and just look at this bunny cuteness. Bunny cute. Guys, this is your day. This is the day that you guys at home on YouTube can enjoy the bunny cuteness for yourself. They're about 10 days old. Their eyes are just opening. They're getting a little playful and adventurous. Look at them. Beautiful. All right, let's get them back over to Elsa. Let's get them some new hay. At three weeks, I um, take them out of the nesting box. Six weeks, they're weaned. And uh, when they start jumping out of the nesting box, there's something we have to do, and I'll show you that. Got some fresh Timothy hay. I'm gonna put a little bit of, in each of their nesting boxes. We'll give Gray a little bit too. The rabbits love eating on Timothy hay. So let's go ahead and just stuff, just stuff a big old handful down in there. They'll rearrange it where they want it. Come back over here, do the same thing. Get a big old handful right in there and give, let's give old Gray some to, to nibble on. Here you go, Gray. You wanna nibble on some Timothy? Oh, you like that. You like that a lot, don't you? There we are. So at 10 days, they're starting to walk around. They got their eyes open and they can actually jump out of this nesting, nesting box, crawl out of it. But they can't get back in because of how high it is. So what I do is I put this uh, block in there. I put it right in front of uh, each of the nesting boxes. So when one of them climbs out onto this block, down into here, they can climb back on the block and get back in. Otherwise, they'll be uh, left out here in the cold all night and she'll be in, and the, the mama will be in there with the rest of the baby. So these really help your baby kits. We can see the kits all snug as a bug in a rug. They're under their new Timothy hay and they will be just, just fine. So let's move on to some bees. Now it's time to feed some bees. We've got over a hundred pounds 
of syrup, of sugar water right here. It's uh, about 10 gallons of two to one ratio, sugar to water, thicker for the winter time. It helps them uh, keep up those winter stores, keep those beeves alive through the winter. We also added a little bit of, just a little bit of pro health in there. It's got a little spearmint flavor, kind of entices them to take it. Gotta be careful with enticing though, you get robbing going on. That's why small insurance reducers, and we're gonna feed all four of them. You don't just feed one of them. Oh my goodness, all the bees that just come swarming into that one, ah, pun intended, and uh, you will lose your honey, you will lose your bees in that colony. So let's feed the bees. That two to one syrup water flow. It's a lot thicker than your regular spring feed. Again, I'm mean, doing my best not to spill anything here. And these bees will come up through the center here and uh, come on the outside of this screen and that's how they get all their nectar. That keeps them from falling in inside the, uh, the syrup water and that you'll lose it. You can lose a lot of bees if you open feed like that. So these little screens help. So the bees come up from the center, they go in between the screen and the plastic and they feed away. The last of this poured in, make sure they're all equal. Five gallons, 10 gallons total separated by five hives. Looks pretty good there. So we've got all five of our colonies fed. Let's cross our fingers. They have a nice, warm, comfortable, dry winter. Last but not least is what we've been up to these past few weeks here on the ridge. As most of you know, it's deer season here in West Tennessee, white-tailed deer, and I love me some backstrap. Y'all see this right here? It's what I use to hang my deer. This is the killing tree. You see I've got a chicken kill cone over there, but uh, venison is on the ridge, and you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out what happened. Y'all know that hunting is so important to us here on the ridge. It's what feeds our family and we love the taste of wild game, especially wild game that's prepared properly. And uh, we got a lot of videos for that, so go check our uh, hunting playlist and our um, wild game cooking uh, playlist. So this cooler here has venison wet aging. Oh guys, we'll do this for about 10 days to two weeks, let it wet age. Uh, keep putting ice on top of it. All the gaminess drains out, the drains left open. Keep putting it on there, keeps the temperature just right. And oh my goodness, backstrap grilled to perfection, medium rare. Oh, so good, so good. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life, what are you waiting for? It's free, hit that subscribe button. And uh, matter of fact, hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out on here at Ridge Life. So if you're interested, come back and see us again, okay? So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life. Let's get the lid off a hat maker colony here. Ooh, lots of bees, lots of bees. And oh my goodness, they're not happy. Oh, look, they're flying out at me. Oh, I'm about to get some smoke. Oh, they're all over the camera. Oh my goodness. They are not happy. <laughs>